My name is Andrea Trowski and I have been a dental hygiene business owner since 2018. I have been a dental professional since 2005, but let this video help you guys. If you're a dental hygienist thinking about starting your own business, but you're really not sure, maybe you've had friends, family, people kind of talk you down a little bit. Like, what are you doing? You have an amazing job at the dental office. Do you really want to give up a full-time income to maybe start your own business? They're probably telling you things like, this, this is why people don't start their own business because not everybody can do it. What makes you think you can do it? Are you sure you want to do this? So if you're getting discouraged, let this video be an inspiration to you. I'm going to tell you why I love being a mobile dental hygienist and why you couldn't pay me to work for a dentist right now. You couldn't pay me to work in a dental office. And I know that probably sounds very strong, but it's true. I love being a mobile dental hygienist because I feel like I can finally do what I want to do. I love patients. I took a little break a while ago, like many, many years ago, um, because I felt burnt out working in the dental office. You know, I didn't feel listened to. I didn't feel appreciated. I was working every day. I wasn't allowed to call in sick. I was so tired, so stressed. I barely got a lunch. I didn't really get along with my coworkers either because there was some office changes and I just, I couldn't handle it. I was burnt out. But so I took a break actually from the dental office and I just taught online. I'm a tutor as well where I teach dental hygiene and dental assisting students, but I taught online um, full time. And although I love it, I missed seeing patients. I really, really did. I think it lasted a month. And then I'm like, wow, you know what? That office wasn't for me. I'm going to apply to other offices and go from there. You know, maybe that's going to be better. But you know, I was burnt out and fast forward to what I'm doing now. Being a mobile dental hygienist means you can set your own schedule. You're your own boss. So no more being burnt out because you can work two hours a day if you want to. You can see two patients a day if you want to. You can see seven patients a day, but then take every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off if you want to. You call the shots. You might be saying to me, well, Andrea, who can afford that? Like, that's crazy. So no matter what you were making at the dental office before, you can make so much more now. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm doing. When I was working at a dental office, I was making upwards to $45 per hour because I was a restorative dental hygienist. I still am, but I'm a restorative dental hygienist. So you get paid a little bit more. I was helping out um, the dentist with procedures. Um, but now I'm making anywhere from 200 to $300 per hour per patient. It depends on if they have a dental hygiene new patient exam or not. Maybe I'm applying silver diamine fluoride. Maybe I'm doing a glass ionomer filling, or maybe it's just a cleaning. So then I get paid less, but I make at least two to $300 per hour. If I'm seeing a child, it might be a hundred dollars, but boohoo, I'm making a hundred dollars per hour. Isn't that so much better than $45 per hour? Yes, it is. I set my own schedule. I can talk to the patients how I want to talk to them. I don't have to worry about being behind because a dental receptionist overbooked me. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff because I book myself. I see the patients that I want to see. If I don't want to work Thursday through Sunday, I don't have to. I can work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and that's it. I set my own schedule. So doesn't that sound amazing? So I hope this serves as some inspiration to you all. Now, having that said, having your own business isn't for everybody. If you would prefer to work at the dental office, nine to five, punch out, and then that's it. You don't have to think about it anymore, then that's fine. But that wasn't me. I wanted to I didn't want to be burnt out. I didn't just want to work a nine to five. Having your own business, having your own dental hygiene business does mean you will probably be answering emails after business hours because you want to get those patients, right? You might have potential patients emailing you and messaging you, asking you questions. You'll be sending them the medical um, history forms to fill out. You'll be taking time to book appointments. But for me, that's exciting. That is so much fun. Any Anytime I talk to a potential patient, I'm doing it because I want them to become a patient of mine. It's not all about the money. I'm looking forward to seeing them as patients. But then I think if I see this patient, well, that's another, let's just say $200 per hour. Doesn't that sound awesome? Um, 
You know, even if it's just, oh, I'm seeing a eight month old for a quick checkup or a two year old for a quick checkup, counting teeth, maybe I'm going to make $30, maybe I'm going to make $50, but I have so much fun doing it. So yes, I do work outside office hours, like I'll be answering emails at 8 p.m., or um, talking to a patient who sent me a message saying, oh my goodness, I think little Susan has a cavity. Here's a picture. Can you have a look? You know, I don't mind doing that. It's exciting for me and it's fun. So I love what I do. So if you've been thinking about having your own practice, maybe you need somebody to talk to. Maybe you just need that inspiration. Definitely reach out to me. I am here to help you guys. You can email me anytime at info at dentalwell.com and I will definitely um, talk to you about whatever you need help with. So I hope this helps because I am really passionate about helping other dental hygienists and please don't get discouraged in having your own business. It's the best thing ever. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if I can help in any way and thank you guys. <laughs>